Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris. Uh, and this is a follow-up video to the Just Egg, the Just For All Foods uh, video that I did. Um, they contacted me shortly after I uploaded the video and they wanted to uh, chat with me. So um, I'm gonna be doing a phone interview with the CEO, founder, Josh Tetrick. And we're gonna see what, uh, what he has to say. I wanna be fair and let him say whatever he wants about the event that went on. I guess um, he wants to talk about my video, what I said in the video. So uh, let's see what he has to say. Okay, he's ready to take my call. Let's uh, do this. All right, we are calling Josh Tetrick, the CEO of Just Foods. No answer. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Just got the voicemail. All right. I'm not sure what they want to talk about. The video, if you haven't seen the video yet, go check that out. Um, basically, I give my thoughts, my opinion on the event that went down. I'm not accusing them of lying or anything like that. Uh, like Impossible did. So as a company, they, they're free to do whatever they want. I just think that their practices are a bit uh, hypocritical and uh, I, I'd really like to see what he has to say about this, but um, can't seem to get a hold of him. Okay, I got a response. It says he'll call you as soon as he's free. I mean, that's understandable. We got a CEO of a company. He's probably really busy. Hello, this is Chris. Hey Chris, this is Josh. I think I missed your call. Hey Josh, how's this going? How you doing, man? Um, I just I just like to say that um, I want to uh, document this, give you a um, fair chance to talk about whatever you want to talk about, and I'll do another video on it. Cool. All right, so th so I'm recording right now. Cool. All right, so um, I don't know. I guess so. So what did you want to say to me? I think Andrew, Andrew, um, who uh, runs runs communications for us, thought it. Um, I think there had been it seemed to be a misunderstanding of the event, the Just Egg event in Southern California, where we had uh, a handful of different options. One, of course, being a vegan option that was uh, marked as such, uh, and then other options for people that uh, we we served as uh, a want to get them excited about the possibilities of a plant-based egg. Um, that's what, I mean, that's, that's the, uh, that was the experience. Um, and that, there wasn't really anything more than that. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, basically what I, uh, what I put out there in the video. Uh, I wasn't really sure what you guys wanted to uh, mm -hmm. convey to me. Andrew, that, I'm, I'm just next to Andrew right now. Um, Andrew, is that your understanding that's what was put out in the video? What I just explained? It was put out in the what what Chris put out in the video? What the, the video that yes. was the way that I just described it? Well, those are just the facts. Those are the facts. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Was, 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 uh, okay, gotcha. Okay, maybe yeah, so maybe there's nothing to talk about because that was just yeah, that was just it, Chris. Oh, did did you see did you not see the video? No, I, I did. I just Andrew Andrew told me um, that it seemed like there was a misunderstanding out there that um, the the options were not clearly marked. When of course they were clearly marked, we would never not do that. Oh, I so I guess what I guess what I was going like I'm not saying that you guys lied to anybody or anything like that. I just thought that it was a, a bit. Um, I guess you could be more clear if you're gonna serve uh, non-vegan products. Um, when a lot of people know you as being all plant-based, that uh, it would be any, I guess anybody's uh, rationale or in, inference, especially brand new vegans that, that haven't been um, vegan for too long and don't really know the right things to ask. When they would go to an event like this and they, they see uh, something that says just egg, so that you would normally think that egg would be a, a non-vegan thing, but yours is an actual vegan item, then yeah. you might, it might be also rational to infer that the bacon as well would be vegan or the fish would be vegan because they have, I mean, you already know this, they, they have all these products 
that are vegan. So, um, you know, I, I don't agree with that, but if you're gonna go ahead and, and, and make signs like that, maybe put next to it like a, a V for the vegan option and an NV for the non-vegan options because um, even myself, I, I might even question it like, hey, is this vegan? And I know that the girl in the video thought at first that it was all vegan, the whole menu was hey, vegan. Hey, 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 Chris, I don't, I don't mind it. I don't, I don't mean to interrupt it. I, that's why I think I just, maybe there's a little bit of a misunderstanding about what actually was the case. Sure. So everything, everything that was vegan was marked vegan. So I'm not sure, I guess maybe that's why I'm, I'm confused. We, of course, would, we wouldn't, we wouldn't, we would never want to do anything that would, well, I know that um, I have a friend that was there that, that uh, there was a waiter or a chef walking around with hors d'oeuvres and they did not let the person know that it wasn't vegan and they bit into bacon and they had to go to the bathroom and spit it out because they were vegan. So, so that... Um, and without, without knowing the... Without knowing the you know, I know in talking to Andrew and other members of our team uh, that were there, we, we certainly made sure uh, that the vegan options were labeled as such, and that was, I, and I hear your suggestion to do that, and, and I couldn't agree more, and that's exactly what we did, which is exactly when we're, at any event, you know, serving food with vegans and non-vegans and vegetarians and flexitarians and uh, in all all sorts. Um, I'm not even, just Chris, just to be honest with you, I'm, I'm looking at the menu right now. So am I. Um, and, yeah, and and it does. It's not labeled vegan. There's nothing that's labeled vegan on the the screen grab that I have right here. And this was right next to where they were cooking up the egg, and where the bacon was introduced to uh, um, the girl in the video that I watched. Can you send me the send me what you're looking? I'm just I'm looking at the I'm looking at the menu and I'm I'm seeing that it is labeled vegan. So yeah, if you wouldn't mind just sending that to me, I can tell you, Chris, just for for clarity though, it clearly is important that when something's vegan that we label it as such. Yeah, uh, but it, it should be should be clearly obvious to everyone. And you know, for for those might that might think um, that that we that just egg should never um, that we should never serve just egg with other animal products on it. Um, I think we just have an honest, probably good-hearted difference of opinion, um, and that's okay. Uh, I think the the reason I, I co-founded and I leave this company is I believe the food system should be better, it should be healthier, it should be more ethical, um, it should taste better for everyone, um, and everyone's at different stages, right? We can't all think the same thing about things, but we really do believe that better is good, um, and perfection is one thing, but being better, being more sustainable, being more thoughtful is a good thing. Um, and sometimes uh, that that's necessary to move the world forward a little bit, and that's just our philosophy. And I totally respect people that might think differently about it, but that is our philosophy. And it's also a responsibility at the same time that we're we're open about uh, open about the label and open about whether something's vegan or, or not. Um, so that that's just that's just a perspective I wanted to share. Didn't mean that everyone's going to agree with me on it, but it is honest, and I wanted to be able to share that with you. Right, and I guess I guess my point is. Uh... Uh, it's your company to do what you want. I'm not saying you did anything wrong there. I'm just saying uh, it kind of conflicts. There's a big hypocrisy there, I guess, with your with your statement on being sustainable with a product uh, and and pairing it with something that is so unsustainable and uh, cruel and and all all the negative stuff that goes with it. And for the record, for the record, I I think you have a an amazing product. And and just so you know, I rallied for you when. When uh, Unilever was uh, was suing you, and and I told everybody to support you, and and I think you have a standalone amazing product. Uh, I think it's delicious, and um, I, I honestly, personally, as a vegan of 25 years, looking as a customer from the outside, I, I think that's a that's a bad thing to like. I see where you're coming from pairing it with meat through other companies like I said in the video like let's say for example you get your product into like McDonald's or something and maybe somebody orders like a breakfast and, and they have bacon real bacon but then they have your egg that's great because something is better than nothing and that's great for these companies to do that to, to incorporate your product with meat but seeing you guys do it it was just like mm. to me let that's me you, let me ask you Chris so you, you think you just gave an example there uh, with McDonald's, right? Right. Um, and do you think, uh, do you agree that there, in, in the example that you just used, that we probably can get more people who are going into McDonald's all across the country 
to eat a little bit better when we're not just focused on one thing, but we, we sort of, you know, we, we, we add some other things to it that they're also very, that they're particularly comfortable with as a way to make the entire sandwich a little bit more sustainable. Like you wouldn't look at that. I mean, just like I heard you and say, that's a bad thing. You probably would look at, at that and say it's a better thing. Well, no, because we're making something that's totally not sustainable and not vegan start to go more and more vegan. But what you're doing was you're starting to something that is sustainable, that's a great product, that is, whether you're ethical vegan or not, it's plant-based, and then you're kind of incorporating things that don't need to be incorporated into it. Um, and I think, I mean, just looking at the video, 99% of the comments agree with that. And, and looking at yeah. from the outside in. Yeah, Chris, sorry, and there might be, again, a, in a Apologies for the misunderstanding. It might be kind of a misunderstanding about what the purpose of that event is. So the purpose of the event for us is to introduce Just Egg to a wider group of people, right? To a group of people who might not know the company, right? So they'll they can tell their friends, their friends can their tell right, right. can tell their friends, and we can all eat better. We're not as a company, right? We work with some of the some of the, the biggest companies in the world, the biggest retailers in the world. Uh, some of the biggest food service players in the entire world. Um, we need to have open arms for the entire community of, of people who are have, have, have different ways of eating, right? Um, the purpose of that event wasn't, we're not selling products, you know, we're not selling whatever the bacon build or whatever the other animal right, right. build is. We're introducing people who have no idea who we are. You know who we are. The, the vast majority of people of them don't have any idea who we are. Right, and we're introducing people. So the people that went to that event didn't the the event the intimate event didn't know who you guys were. No, I'm saying the majority of people. The purpose, the objective of that event is to introduce us, what we're doing, what we're about. The idea of better is good, right? That a better version of sustainability. Sustainability in food is a good thing. I just don't understand why you would pair it up sorry, with Chris, something. If I, Chris, sorry, if I, if I just if I just finish, that better is a good thing, right? And the the 99.9999 percent of what the company sells, right, is a pure plant-based egg, right, that is made entirely uh, from plants. This was a single event again, where the objective of that single event was to try to introduce more people to a better way uh, of eating. And our philosophy, and I totally totally respect where you're coming from, man is that sometimes in introducing people to a, a more thoughtful way of eating, that um, it is okay to, uh, to have other things on it because it opens people's minds up to a different way of eating. Just like what you said, if McDonald's was to put some bacon on it, uh, we wouldn't protest it because we think, again, better is good. Perfection is not possible. But man, we're gonna get behind the idea that better is good. But with that, Chris, man, I, again, I almost had respect the hell out of you. Respect what you stand for. Um, really appreciate you giving me the um, I'm, no, ju I, I, I'm just trying to give you a little bit of outside advice from my perspective. That's all I'm trying to do. So, and, and again, I, I totally, I totally appreciate and respect it, man. But I, again, I just want to share my, my open thoughts uh, with you, um, and I thank you for letting me do that. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you for jumping on the call with me. You bet. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate it. All right. So um, we don't see eye to eye. I think there's a big hypocrisy there. Obviously, he wasn't going to let me say anything that I wanted to say. Um, I, I really didn't jump on the call to debate him. I didn't think that he would change his mind on anything. Um, but there's a huge difference, you see, when something, somebody like McDonald's, who is not vegan, starts to use some more vegan products than when a company that started out as a vegan company or a plant-based company starts to incorporate meat to promote their product. Um, I don't think that's a good I don't think that's a good thing uh, I, I remember back when I was uh, when I first went vegan there were um, there were a few products out there that were accidentally vegan but they were made by let's for example Pringles were made by Procter and Gamble but all the vegans I knew they stayed away from them because Procter and Gamble tested on animals so it was something that we just kind of avoided and uh, you know not everybody's like that but the, a, a good majority of people are and so this is how I feel like uh, something like this is tainted by the fact that they, you know, they're, they're incorporating meat when they didn't have to. And the other thing that he didn't really let me get into, um, he kind of cut me off there, was he said this was a, an intimate event. So I'm thinking, 
who would be invited there that doesn't know who the company is um, at an intimate event like that. I'm, I'm sure pretty much everybody there probably knew who the company was, what makes it even worse that they're, they're pairing it with one of the most unsustainable products you can go to, which is bacon, um, on every level. So, um, yeah, I don't agree with that. Again, this wasn't supposed to be a debate. Uh, I just, they wanted to talk to me. They reached out to me. They wanted to jump on the phone with me. At first I said, I have no questions for you. This isn't like exactly like the impossible um, foods uh, scenario. They didn't lie to me or anything. So there was nothing there. Um, I just gave my thoughts and opinion. A company like that starting to uh, incorporate bacon and, uh, and fish and cheese into, you know, and to promoting a vegan product. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, the people, I haven't really asked too many people yet because it just happened, but the people that, I, that I'm that i friends with that are not vegan, I, I asked all of them, does it make any sense uh, to do that? Would it entice you more to eat a vegan product if it was wrapped in bacon? They all kind of laughed and said no. If they were gonna try a vegan product, they would want to try it on its own to see how it tasted, not put it with uh, with bacon. Uh, again, if you're looking at the health aspect of it, why would you, why would you take um, something like eggs and make a vegan egg, which is a lot healthier than regular eggs, and pair it with something that's actually worse for you than eggs, uh, bacon, you know? So and none of this makes a lot of sense. Obviously, uh, we both have different opinions on that, and uh, I, I don't think anybody's going to change his opinion. I actually just had some... Uh, some of my um, advice to, to give him to, to, to help the company, uh, to help him, whether he wanted to take it or not, but obviously he didn't want to listen to anything that, that I had to say. I guess we can leave it at that. I don't really know what else to say. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me see in the comments below. It is what it is, and I don't know. I don't know if I can eat the product anymore. It's great that it's out there. It's great that it exists. I, I just don't know how, how far it's going to go with an egg that's... Uh, nine dollars a container um you know people that are willing to eat bacon are probably not going to spend nine dollars on eggs so uh, you know they have world-renowned chefs that work for them they have the best biochemist food chemist you would think that they would be able to to come up with something that was uh, vegan and delicious yeah. there's a lot of things you could make um, but they chose to wrap it in bacon so uh, there you have it uh, the uh, the CEO and founder of Just Foods uh, interview with Josh Tetrick. So I don't know what else to say about that. He uh, he filled you in on his thoughts, and now there's no guessing. We know it's uh, what their stance is on it, and I guess that's it. Give me a give me a thumbs up for the video, and I will talk to you guys soon. Watch out for those zombies. They they seem to be everywhere. I'm back. He just uh, text messaged me and said, even though we may disagree, I get where you're coming from. Thank you for being open to talking, looking at the menu again. I think we should be significantly more clear also. Josh. And then I sent him a screenshot of the, uh, the menu right there. As you can see, there's nowhere on that menu that says vegan or non-vegan. And he said, yep, that's the menu. I think we should be more clear. And then I said, if you ever want some advice from an outside perspective, let me know. I'd be more than happy. Thanks. And he said, I appreciate it. It's always important not to live in our own heads. Thank you. So I guess what it comes down to is we are agreeing to disagree. I'd love to hear your thoughts.